hello guys in this video we'll be talking about the diff flip flop and how can we design the diff flip flop in the verilog now what is this flip flop flip flop is a digital circuit which is used to store a bit bits of data a single flip flop is used to store one bit of data so d flip flop where d is the data also stores one bit of data and the q which is the output will be tracking the input and this tracking happens whenever there is a, a clock right? now this is the clock say so the output q will get the value of d only when there is a positive edge or the negative edge of the clock if you assume it's a positive edge triggered whenever there is a positive edge then only the output q will get the value d the output q will get the value d whenever there is the positive edge and the remaining time the q will store the value even if the d changes the q will store the value and it doesn't change now the reset is a bit which is used to reset the flip flop whenever this becomes one the q will become zero irrespective of whatever value it is containing it may contain zero or one Whenever the reset bit is 1, it becomes 0. The Q bar is a complement of the Q. If this is 0, this is 1, if this is 1, if this is, and this is 0. That's it. Now we can start design. Now let's write the input and output ports. D reset clock Q Q bar. These are our ports. Input ports are D reset clock and the output. Now the output Q bar has to store the value. So we need to choose the rich data type. Output Q bar. Now why we are not uh, choosing the reg data type for the Q instead of choosing the reg data type for Q bar we can just choose the assign statement using the assign whenever the Q change whenever the Q change this expression will be evaluated and will be assigned to Q bar right this is a continuous assignment so we don't require uh, Q bar to be a reg type variable because it's just the complement of the Q. Now, for the design of the D flip flop, we will be using the always, always block. What is this always block? Now, the D flip flop will run till there is a power supply, right? If you take the IC, suppose an IC of the D flip flop, the IC will work till there is a power supply so the always at the rate block will also give that functionality it will be running always running but whenever there is a in input for suppose whatever the expression inside the always block changes the inside part will be executed so for that we will be using the passage of the clock and passage of the reset here the here the passage means positive edge of the clock whenever there is a positive edge of the clock or whenever the reset changes from 0 to 1 then only the inside part will be executed you need to use the begin and end statement now these are the statement this is a sequential statement which is used to group a set of sequential statement so if reset reset equal to 1 then the output will get the value 0 else output get the value input ok now let's 
you some tabs do some indentation to make it perfect so that it will look better Synthesis is successful, so we can view the RTL schematic. This is a flip flop, D flip flop. You could see we have used the assign, so the Q bar is getting the inverted value of the Q. This is the RTL schematic of the D flip flop. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.